What's up, guys, and welcome to the next Cracker Pack series, Cracker Pack episode, excuse me. Today, kicking off with Future Sight. Uh, Future Sight is not a pack I believe we've opened on this series yet, uh, but it's definitely one that I want to get more into because there are quite a few really good cards. Obviously, OG Tarmogoyf is in this, so that is a huge one. In addition, there's also lands like Horizon Canopy and Grove of the Burn Willows, which are great, and even Sliver Legion. Uh, slivers were a huge deal at the time, so could be a really interesting pack if we get some some really powerful cards. So we'll see what we get. Uh, we will kick off our commons with Oblivion Crown, uh, Ember Wild Augur, Avon Augur, Fatal Attraction, Cutthroat Ildal, Gift of Granite. Uh, Blade of the Sixth Pride, and I do want to point out this awesome card frame. Uh, it shows off the art quite well, but it also, as you can tell, in comparison to a card like this, it just looks so much cooler. I kind of miss when Magic, or excuse me, when Wizards, I guess, did stuff like that. I don't know, it just looks really fantastic, so uh, would be cool to see some of that back. Uh, Sarcomite Mirror, Death Rattle, uh, Homing Sliver. Edge of Autumn, and our first uncommon is Pooling Venom. Ooh, there we go. Our second uncommon is Dryad Arbor. Dryad Arbor being a really interesting card, and at least at the time of recording this, it's probably going up quite a ways after, but at the time of recording this, there was an issue with Dryad Arbor about whether or not the From the Vault version should be banned or should be legal in tournament play because it looks so much like an actual forest. Uh, I don't know if by the time this video is released, they've breached a verdict or even really acknowledged that that was a thing. Uh, if they have, or if they haven't, excuse me, I do want to point out that I just think the argument's a little silly. Um, you know, you should be accountable for the cards that are there, so that's just sort of my, uh, my take on it. Uh, Bonded Fetch and our rare Imperial Mask. Uh, this is four and a white for an enchantment. When it comes into play... If it is not a token, each of your teammates puts a token into play that's a copy of Imperial Mask, and you can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponents control. So basically this is a lot like Leyline of Sanctity, except this affects not only you but teammates. So uh, I actually don't know the teammates mechanic. I'm not sure exactly how big that was at the time. I'm sure this Future Sight was one of those sets where they kind of tried a lot of things because they wanted to see which direction they should go in the future hence it being named Future Sight. So uh, it could have just been sort of a one-off card, but actually very powerful. Uh, in a team format, this would be fantastic. In fact, I would probably play this over Leyline just because it helps protect everybody. So really a fantastic card, probably not worth too much if I had to guess, but uh, Dryad Arbor is actually worth a few bucks. And uh, again, these card frames are just fantastic. So Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below, and make sure to subscribe if you would like to stay up to date on all of these videos. Uh, we also have our podcast and, of course, our card spotlight videos for you, so make sure to check those out. Until the next video, though, guys, we will see you later. Thank you so much for watching.